Welcome everyone to the Plains in Jordan-Hare Stadium, home of the Auburn Tigers. We're telling someone War Eagle is just as common as saying hello. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the California Golden Bears, taking on a team from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Auburn will kick off to get us underway. And he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. This crowd bringing an ear-splitting welcome to their visitors. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. And why waste any time? Get right to it. The offense with a big play right out of the gate. And sending a clear message, Reese, they are going to take shots. They've got playmakers. They've got dudes that can get downfield and locate the football. I love the attitude right out of the gate. On the run, it's Mendoza. Throws to the wideout. And the ball is picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun. Give on the inside. Maybe five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw, and they can't make the connection. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another Number defender, nine. and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And a precision punt there will pin them deep inside their own 10-yard line. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. And the Golden Bears racing to the line in the hurry up. Gonna run it. It's up. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down there. Got three on first down and second and seven. They try to pop a run on the draw. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Mendoza. He makes the connection. 
building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Good job running top and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your run. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll keep it himself. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. He'll do it himself. Still on his feet at the 45. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. It'll be a draw. Found a little running room, and they get him stopped after a pickup of six to the 32. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. The Golden Bears headed quickly to the line. Looking for space. It's Ott. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quite a good play. They're trying to eat up some clock here. Ninth play of the drive. It's third and six. Looking to throw, it's Mendoza. Makes the grab on the left. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, man. You think this offense would want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. But this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobbled him up behind the line of scrimmage. And the Golden Bears will punt this one away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, the running back has it. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. He leaves it with his back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Second. 
Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. To the air, it's Thorne. Quick strike complete. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. And the Tigers are on the move. On the run, it's Hunter. Jukes his way for more. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. The give on the inside. Open space at the 25. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And this offense has got it all right, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a uh, bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this rhythm. Catch in the middle, it's Frazier. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Some room headed to the goal line. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. And a great job on the offensive line. You're going to run the ball right up the middle. You better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys. Just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. They'll try to pound their way in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And on that situation, the one-yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of this defense. They've got guys flying to the ball. Huge play in the red zone. Third and goal coming up. Back to pass. It's Thorne. Makes the grab. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. An impressive long methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays, but how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. 
Quarterback on the keeper. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. It's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is not threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in. He got that stuff on the ground. The Golden Bears want to pick up the tempo. He's looking for a man on second down. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Oh, it, it's always frustrating as a quarterback when you put it on the money and the guy drops it. But you know what you got to do? You got to build his confidence. Buddy, I'm coming back to you later. Just get your mind right. Get ready, because I know you can make that catch. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pop the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I tell you, they tried to go draw in the middle of the field. That back had nowhere to go with the football. He was tackled right away for a loss. And the Golden Bears will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they wanted. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last one. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action, it sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. At the 20, he's got space. He wasn't far from taking it to the house, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. They'd love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. They'll use the running game on first and goal. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And that last carry pays off with a C-note already at 100 yards. And he's done it with so much balance and so much power and so much speed. He's really shown you that he's a great back in a multitude of ways. And guess what? It's still the first half. Trying to pound it in. Cruz into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on his way to the field. On the run, it's up. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. The Golden Bears moving quickly to the line. Give to the running back. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, 
I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Quick release by the QB. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. One of the nice things about RPOs is that it's a slow developing mesh between the QB and running back, and that allows these receivers time to get vertically downfield and work their routes. You saw it right there on that play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. He's going to pass. Unloads to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Power football with the run. It could have used a little bit more there. Picked up a three. It's third and seven. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, he drops to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Matthews. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Trying to find his man on the first down. Safe completion on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. The screen plays, you really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got going, but just got tackled before he could really do any damage. Dropping back, it's Mendoza. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it go. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right hatch. The official says no good. Guys, the missed field goal and nothing changes. Still a 14-point game. ready to go back to work on offense. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw. It's Thorne. Working that left side now. 
And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get it in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. He'll pull it on the read. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You go with the option, quarterback keeps it himself, and look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your playbook. So after the first down run, here's second down. To the ground with the back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Now facing a third and long. He wants to throw it. A little screen to the running back. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. Great job on defense. They did their film study. On third down, they're trying to dial up the screen, see if they can get these pass rushers way up the field, but no can do. They get a tackle for loss on the play, now setting up fourth. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14. 14, Cal, zero. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, and their defense needs to help them out and get off the field and get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field the first quarter, David. I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some run. they got to establish something, and you're right. You'll wear your defense out. Continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense. You're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. Give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. You can tell they pull the trigger so fast. Get to the back. Get him on the ground quick. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. Got his man downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Hey, nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. And the Golden Bears want to crank the tempo. Back to pass, it's Mendoza. Gets it to the back. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. When they try to spit it out to the running back on the perimeter of the field, you saw the speed and recognition by the defense, though. How quickly they were able to get to the back and get him down for a big loss. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll keep it himself. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but this is an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort by that. Now, they missed a field goal on the last drive, but you need to get points here, so they need to pick up some yardage to at least get in range for their kick. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. And that's a really good example of why offensive coordinators script plays. You know the down and distance, and you know which routes can get you to the stick. So there's no waste of time. That coordinator got the play in early to his quarterback, knowing that his players were going to be able to execute. The run from the shotgun. 
You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. A lot of urgency for this offense. Wants to throw on second down. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, Golden Bears. Number He'll try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. That drive covers 62 yards for the touchdown. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll try it again. Nifty run there, pick up of six out through the 25. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to power their way ahead. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes Number up with a stop. Maybe more. get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Takes a handoff. It's up. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the move, it's Mendoza. Quickly complete. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, give the defense credit on that one, because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wide out. Got his man! That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. When I see the defensive man coverage, I'm trying to get my fast guy versus their worst corner. Trying to get a great matchup on the outside, take advantage of it to make big plays. The Golden Bears will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. It's a 
sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good on the backfield. You know they're going to catch it. There's so many ways to use them, but exactly. Get it to him. Let him break tackles. Let him make plays. Easy decision. Got him downfield. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. And the Golden Bears have taken it inside the 20. Going up top on first down. He caught it! That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, he'll let it fly. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Looking for a man, it's Mendoza. Going for six. And it's caught! Touchdown, Cal! Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch. Lining up for the PAT. Splits those uprights right in half. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Grabbed over the middle, it's Burton. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. On second down, they'll take to the air. Got the quick pass. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. The Golden Bears will kick it off to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Paul? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Now on second down. To the air, it's Thorne. This time it's complete. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Auburn to the line in a hurry.
They're going to throw it again. Release to the back. There's a live football. Scoops it up. Still a live ball. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. The Tigers will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's fair weather. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. They'll give him one to the 28-yard line. A little less room to work with now. The ball's at the 28, and it's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense, not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash and 45 yards out. It's good. There is a flag on the play. Now, if this is on the defense, it might not change that much. Offense has already made the long field goal. Running back goes in motion. They'll throw it from the red zone. Grabbed in the middle. It's Lewis. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. I know we're a long way up here in the booth, but guys, y'all remember that ball you could throw that whistled? That thing was whistling. It had so many RPMs on it. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Back to throw, it's Thorne. And he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity, but it's incomplete. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Well, you usually don't get that wide open in the end zone. If that ball comes in like that, that's a play the receiver has just got to be able to make for his team. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And this one ought to be nice and easy, a 22-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And with that, they've taken the lead. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down there. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. And the Golden Bears will hustle to the line. They'll run play action. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have let him a little too much. But how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Looking for a man. It's Mendoza. Fires to the wideout. 
Another incompletion on third down. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. The Golden Bears will punt it away on fourth down. They'll look to pin him deep. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They'll line up for a second down play. Going to run it. It's Hunter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You can't let the same guy beat you over and over and over again. You got to make adjustments. Sometimes you got to bring more guys in the box, more guys to the football, and make sure he's not the one who beat you. Lining up to convert third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Got it set up on the outside. He stopped quickly, but not before. He has enough for the first down. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. From the gun, the ground game. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Off play action. Catch in the middle. It's Lewis. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. When you run the football and then throw in the play action, it's such a tricky thing for the defense. Do I play run? Do I come up fast? It opens those holes right behind the linebackers and between the safeties to make the passing game just a little bit easier. Auburn going to work with another first down. They'll run it. It's Hunter. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He'll do it himself. Oh, it's loose! Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. And how about this defense snatching at least a chance for victory away from the jaws of defeat? And I just love the effort, too, Reese. I mean, this has been a long, hard-fought type game. It's been a physical game. And a lot of these guys on defense, they played a lot of snaps. They are tired. But in this situation, you're seeing the effort. The guys flying around, creating a fumble. Boy, it does not get better than that. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. Pulls and fires complete. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Our coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And the Golden Bears in the hurry up. Got it behind the line. It's Matthews. That's a nice pickup to give them some breathing room, and they've got it out to the 27. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones and then delivered the ball on time. Now on first and 10 from the 27. Gets it out quickly. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. 
Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety bite on the run fit. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. Now on second and short. Wants to throw. It's Mendoza. Finds the tight end. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. The Golden Bears have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got it. In the middle, it's Matthews. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. It's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. They did right there. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. Pulls it, fires to the left. Oh, they knock it free. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Now, this is a receiving group that practices making catches in traffic, and they're used to having guys trying to rip it free. He's got to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure. After he makes the catch, that's a costly giveaway. that Auburn offense onto the field again. That last drive and the turnover, not what you're looking for when you have the lead, Jesse. Yeah, and really, I think for them, it's just staying out of their own way. They're making plays. They've got the playmakers to go and win this game, so it's just a matter of executing better. Yeah, executing better, understanding I still got the lead. Put a drive together here and build on that lead. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I love the idea, and I love just finding ways to get your best players out in the open field. This pre-snap motion and using it to their advantage on that last play, I think that was a nice call. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. The give to the back. Got the first down. Looking for more. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. They'll ride the hot hand. Breaks the tackle. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And it's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. you got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. Balls at the 25, they're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. To the ground to try to pick up the first. The Tigers get it past the sticks. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the stop at the sweet rolling catches. Plenty to give them a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. 
Down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Running the red zone. It's Hunter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They're just handing the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No, sir. No, Moss. Get it together. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. He's got it. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. This quarterback right now is in groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems... Takes it to the house! Touchdown, Tiger! They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. He's right on target. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. And the Golden Bears are in the hurry up. Gets it out fast. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. So be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Back to throw. It's Mendoza. Unloads to the wideout. And he intercepts it. The return never really got started, but boy, he has set his team up at the 28. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Handoff from the gun. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And they pick up just a few on that completion. But the big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. 
They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Motion from the offense. A run for the quarterback. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. QBs that can run completely change your game plan. I mean, every single bit of it. You have to understand, now as a pass rusher, I got to keep him in the pocket. I got to understand all the zone read concepts and the power read and the jet read, all the different things they can do to you. So, you know, having a guy back there at the helm uh, and that can run the football. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiver touchdown in the game. Nice job by the offense, too. If I've got a matchup I like, I continue to pick at it until they stop it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three possession, 17 point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, I'm right. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. The Golden Bears come to the line in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. And he fires over the middle. It's incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys are on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. The incompletion on first down leaves him with second and 10 from the 43. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Scanning the field. It's Mendoza. Throwing right. It's complete. They're ripping off chunks of yard to take, get it to the 33. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. How about the job by this defense, though? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Gives it to the back on the draw. Runs through the tackle. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Effective draw plays in a running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sale. you got to really make the defense think it's passed. You keep your eyes focused downfield until the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defense 
defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. And the Golden Bears pick up the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Got his man quickly. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Touchdown, Golden Bears! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points. And he makes the catch inside the 25. And he's brought down after a huge completion. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. And they'll stop him inside the five, but the defense is backed up in the shadow of its own goalpost. Now with the first and goal, let's see what Auburn's got cooking. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! How about this Tiger quarterback etching his name alongside the greats and maybe wearing out Bobby with extra push-ups after all these points? And you just think about those guys having those kind of days as Nick Marshall, Cam Newton, just superstars at the position. That's what kind of day he's having so far. They'll try to add another to their lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Cal gets it back, the sturdy Golden Bear offense on its way to the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the big fella. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. 
Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. They'll run it from the gun. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The Golden Bears want to move quickly. They'll go to the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They tried to get the defense going the wrong way with the counter, but nothing doing. Aggressive defense, attacking defense. You want to hit them with those counters, but it wasn't successful in this play. Defensive line, linebackers, everybody's dialed in. They see what's going on. They diagnose it. Go downhill, hit him right in the middle of the field. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Makes the grab well past the sticks. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, I think the experience on offense was a big reason why the head coach felt confident going for it there on fourth down. He says a lot of guys that have played a lot of snaps. They've been in these big game moments before. Ice in their veins. And you saw it there on that completion to keep the sticks moving. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in the bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Mendoza. Shoots it to the left. It's caught. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. And the Golden Bears getting set on first and 10. He wants to throw. Find his tight end. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field, the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. On first down from the 13-yard line. From the red zone, looking for a man. Firing to the right, complete. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. To the air. It's Mendoza. He caught it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. 
know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. They keep attacking through the air. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. Might as well go big or go home. They need a touchdown, and it looks like they're on their way home anyway. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. This offense is so deep, it's teetering on the edge of a safety. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. It's got to be tough right now on defense. You need to find a way to get a stop, and you haven't been able to do that in the fourth quarter. You've been giving up points. You just gave up a touchdown in the last drive. You need a turnover. You need to do something right now to stop this momentum. Backed up at the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game to want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They go to the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Final score, Auburn, 38, Cal, 21.